long before I do feel it's on, but no, not how it went. My second joy, the fruits of my body. From his presence I am barred like one infectious. My third comfort, starred most unluckily. Through my breast, the innocent milk in its most innocent mouth held out to murder. Myself on every post proclaimed a strumpet with immodest hatred that childbed privilege denied, which longs to women of all fashion. Lastly, hurried here to this place in the open air before I have got strength of limit. Now, my liege, tell me. What blessings have I here alive that I should fear to die? What angel wakes me from my flowery bed? I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. Mine ear is much enamored of thy note, so is mine eye and my frolic to thy shape. And thy fair virtuous force, her force, doth move me on the first view to say, to swear I love thee. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here whether thy will or no. I am a fairy of no common rate. The summer still shall tend upon my stay. And I do. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, go with me. I can be fair as to attend on thee, and they shall fetch the jewels from the deep and sing while thou impressest flowers thus sleep. Would that he were fatter, but <laughs> I, I fear him not. Yet, were my name liable to fear, I know no man I should so soon avoid as that spare Cassius. He reads much. He is a great observer, and he looks quite through the deeds of men. He loves no plays as thou dost, Antony. Seldom he smiles, and smiles in such a sort as if he mocked himself and scorned his spirit that could be moved to smile at anything. Such men as he be never taught these whilst they behold someone greater than themselves, and therefore are they very dangerous. Let me beseech you. <laughs> let the lady come in. And let me speak to her father. And if he finds me guilty, that'll be okay. I'll uh, take and admit my vices. You say. I am sick and sullen. Mm. Pray you, Antony, stand further from me. <coughs> I can see by that same eye there's some good news. How is the married woman? You may go. Oh, would that she had never given you permission to come. Let her not say tis I who keep you here. I have no power over you. 